What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Pat. Do you want to build some high quality backlinks? If you do, I'm going to teach you how you can find guest posts that is going to raise your DA through the roof, bring traffic, and most importantly, build brand awareness, right? Now, this is probably one of the most white hat techniques that SEOs use, and I'm going to walk you through how you can find opportunities and how you can pitch these websites in order to get your guest posts on their website, right? So let's get right into it. What's going on YouTube? So like I mentioned earlier, we're going to be going through the step-by-step -step process, how you can gain backlinks. Now you might be wondering what is a guest post or a guest blog? And in simple terms, this is really just you write a piece of content, take this content and you pitch it to another website in your industry. Now, the point of this is to build quality backlinks to your website, right? Now, this is probably one of the safest methods in order to build backlinks besides profile backlinks, right? Now, now I'm sure some of you guys have seen my videos that I've done on building, you know, some of these high DA profile backlinks, but in reality, those are not going to move the needle such as guest posting, right? Now I'm going to show you really quickly. So when I was so when I was working at an agency, I had a SEO internship, right? And my sole purpose was around link building. So I was doing tons of guest posting and I found out this process that made life really simple when trying to do outreach. I'm first going to show you you know what exactly what type of results I actually achieved, right? So this was the company that I was working at now let's go to referring domains so if we go into the past year i started working with them right around july as you can see the number of referring domains which is just a unique domain that links back to your website was at the lowest peak that it was in a while and once i started working on their backlink strategy and doing multiple campaigns one of them which involved guest posting which was one of our most successful ones you know our backlinks just started going through the roof right until the highest that we are now and of course i'm not working with them anymore but you know our dr was around 35 before i started any link building campaigns and i was able to raise their dr from 35 to 42 and a majority of this was due to the amount of guest posts that we were doing on a monthly basis right so let's go back into let's go back to our whiteboard so guest posts the top three things that you want from a guest post is one traffic then you want to build your brand awareness and of course you want that nice juicy backlink pointing to your website which is going to boost your authority right your dr your da whatever you want to call it now there's three things you want to check for when prospecting websites, right? You want to see if there's traffic. You then want to see what level is their DA, their domain authority, right? You want to usually pitch websites that are within range of your own DA, right? So if your DA is 20, you don't want to go out pitching these high DA, you know, DA 60s, DA 70s, because you're either one going to get rejected or two, they're going to ask for a lot of money simply because they really don't need any content from anybody if their DA is that high, right? And the third thing is you want to check their backlink profile. Now these steps are really if you want to take that extra step and want to ensure that you're getting a quality backlink from a quality website, right? If you're just trying to build as many guest posts links as you want you can kind of just skip over this and go after some of these more easier targets but i would still recommend to at least check their da right so i do recommend you to get two plugins and this is going to make your life really easy the first one is hunter io you can see it's this one up here and basically it is a free plugin that lets you see you know the emails that are on any website right it's going to pull all the emails that it can find and it's going to show them so that you can easily copy and paste them into its spreadsheet for when you're prospecting, right? So you can just go over to Google, just type in Hunter IO, and then just go down here and just click on the Chrome plugin. Go ahead and download, right? I already have it, so it says remove. And then the second one you wanna get is the Moz bar, and this is 
uh, this plugin is really to check the domain authority and how many links is on that web page right and this is again going to make your life really easy when you're prospecting so just go ahead and get this plugin make a free account it's really simple completely free and you're going to be good to go so when you're prospecting you want to include the search terms that are related to whatever niche you want to target so if you're in the you know seo niche you want to target seo related websites now i will say this seo websites or the seo industry is highly competitive so all of the websites that are accepting guest posts either one are going to require a lot of different requirements either they're going they're going to want really long content or they're going to make you do a bunch of extra stuff. And then the other side of it is they probably are going to need some type of dollar amount, right? They're going to want money in exchange for you posting on their website. And my goal for you is to be able to find as many of these free guest posting opportunities as you can find. So if you are in the SEO industry, you still have different options such as marketing, social media marketing, email marketing, word of mouth marketing, basically anything related to marketing and business, maybe even web design or websites that you could probably target and write a good piece of content and pitch it to them, right? First, you wanna put your keyword in quotations, such as I did here, email marketing, put it in quotations and then do a plus symbol, right for us. Now, you are going to have to play with this. It could be right for us guest post, guest writer. It just really depends on what that website named their, that page, right? So they can have different pages titled different things. So you really just have to play with the search strings a bit. So I did email marketing for this example. You can see we get a list of websites. It says right for us, right for us, right for us. So let's say your, your, let's say your website DA was 20, right? So if your DA was 20, this would be a good website to pitch. So let's go into their let's go into their site and see what type of requirements they need. So you want to make sure you read through their, you know, what we're looking for page. It says written for an audience of marketing leaders, what we publish. So this is very important, guys. You want to make sure that you read through their requirements because they specifically tell you what you need to do in order for them to accept your guest post. You can see it says anywhere between 600 to 2,500 words, how to submit. Either one, they give you exactly how you need to submit. Usually it's through an email or a contact form. If they don't, just go ahead and email them, right? I will say that the best backlinks that you can get are websites that don't specifically have a write for us page or a guest post page, right? So it's really just a matter of trial and error when you're prospecting for these websites. So we can go on and go through this entire list. Now what you would want to do, let's go back to this website, open up your Hunter IO and let's see if they have any emails. So we can go ahead and pull either one of these emails. I'm going to just go ahead and get the one that says hi and let's go into our spreadsheet that I have. And what you want to do here is kind of lay out all the prospects you have just to make it easier when you start your outreach process, right? So let's take their email and put it into here. And then let's go ahead and copy their URL. Let's see, guidelines page. And then we can just take this and paste it over here. And let's just take off the right for us. We can do the industry, right? So their industry was email marketing topics accepted i'm gonna go ahead and say anything related to email marketing so email marketing i'd say marketing let's see if they give any other hints let's see here is written for so they do all they do also have an audience of e-commerce so we can do e-commerce and then they have content strategist so we can go ahead and write that in our little spreadsheet so it could be e-commerce and then content strategist now once you contact them this is when you would fill out you know they contacted you put whatever date it is and then the status whether it's pending accepted declined you can organize your process right it's going to make things way easier and i do recommend you to list out you know 10 of these websites 
and send them an email all the same day, all the same times. And I really don't bother with a follow up email because if they didn't reply the first time, they are most likely not going to reply anymore, right? People get guest posting emails all the time. So if they don't reply, on, if they don't reply to you the first time, just move on to the next one. Now this was an email marketing example. Let's let's tr let's see if we can find anything related to web design. So so the same thing we do web design and write for us. So we can instantly get guest posting websites that you know accept guest posts. You know write for us, write for us. And the same thing you want to do is just go into each one of these. Obviously you want to pay attention to the DA right. Make sure it's either 10 under or 10 above. You don't want to go anything further than that because if you go under, it's really not going to help you. And if you go too much above, they're most likely not going to accept your guest post. So let's go into this website and the same thing, guys, just go into here, just go into here, read the guidelines. You can see right here, 500 words must be unique, relevant images. And then it tells you, how can I start? These guys have a contact form that you actually have to fill out. So just go into the contact form and then just fill out their information, right? Same thing with this guys. You just copy their, copy their URL. Just throw it into here, right? You guys get it. I'm not going to go through all of this, but this is kind of all you need, right? The URL, the email, whatever industry it is, the guidelines page. So you can reference back to it when you're writing your guest posts. Topic accepted, they contacted, and the status of the guest post. Now, I highly recommend to not write anything until you get a yes from that website, right? So I'm going to go into the email template now. Now, this template is what I found to work. Now, things vary from industry and website to website, right? So this template might not work every single time, but it is a pretty good layout. I would try to customize each email that you send as much as possible, right? People do not like spammy looking emails, right? That looks like a bot wrote it or sent it, right? So you want to make sure it's customizable to that industry, to their website. If you can find a name, make sure to include their name, or if you can't find a name, just address it to that website. So here it goes. So the subject that I would use is just guest post inquiry for business name or name of contact, right? Straight to the point. You don't want to beat around the bush with these type of inquiry of emails, right? They get these emails all the time. You want to be straight to the point. And if they don't accept your guest post, then move on to the next one. Ask for money. And if it's in your budget, then go ahead and do that transaction. If not, you're only looking for free then move on to the next one until you get a response for a free guest post. Most of my guest posts in the past were all free, so it is very possible, right? Let's get into the body of this email. Just go ahead and say, hey, with their name. If you can't find their name, use the name of the business or website. And then just put, I am your name, founder of your website. That is all about, you know, whatever niche you're in. So, you know, it'd be like, I am Pat Kuros, founder of PatKurosSEO.com. That is all about SEO, digital marketing, right? And then period, I'm also an active blogger and have a passion for it. My example would be, I have a passion for SEO, digital marketing, right? Showing that you're an authoritative, showing that you know what you're talking about, showing that you know what industry you're targeting and that you're capable of writing content for their website. And then just simply make a nice gesture, right? Say, I love the content on your website. I think I could write a great piece of content for your website. Here are the three topics I could write about. This is very important, guys. You want to lay out three topics that you could write about in order to catch their attention and let them choose whichever they feel is the best topic for their website or for their audience. So if you're in the, I don't know, social media niche, and you're targeting social media sites, it could be something like the top five ways to increase your follower account in 2020, or the top five ways to increase your engagement, anything that, anything that, anything that's going to attract them to want to accept your guest post, right? You want to make sure you write catchy titles. And then after you write the three topics, just go ahead and say, please feel free to reply with the best topic for your audience. And I'll get to writing immediately. 
you can check out my recent work here and I advise you to link out to your blog if you have one or to your website, right? Anyways, hope to hear from you soon. Best regards, your signature. So very straightforward and simple message. Like I said, this might not work every single time. It's just a matter of trial and error, but this might give you a good blueprint on how you can start doing outreach for these guest posts, right? This is a very effective strategy. I used it myself in the agency that I worked for and I was able to increase their DR very quickly just by getting guest posts on a weekly basis, right? So highly recommend if you're trying to build out backlinks and it is simple and most of the time free, right? It just takes the time of you writing the actual content or paying someone, you know, 10 bucks to write it for you. That's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys liked this tutorial and if you did, make sure you leave me a thumbs up. It will really help me out and hit that subscribe button. I really want to hit 200 subscribers by the end of this next week. I really appreciate all the love and support from you guys and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.